Hi, my name is Keith Wakeham. Today I'm going to talk to you about power meters, and specifically it's going to revolve around a tutorial on how to build an advanced power meter. Um, the design that I'm going to show you, my final or near finalized design, is one that can measure both your left and your right legs independently, which is currently something that is sought by many athletes and many different companies are attempting to develop this. First, I'd like to talk to you about why power meters. Several years ago, a company by the name of SRM realized that by measuring, making some measures, you, you were able to determine the athlete's power output. This is in stark contrast to heart rate monitors that gave a subjective rating of an athlete's uh, power output or, or exertion level. The power meter, by contrast, isn't going to be affected by uh, wind, fatigue, heart rate. It's only going to be an objective mechanical measure, which is something that the industry has, has been seeking for a while now. And, and as a result of that, several other companies have come to market, primarily Quark, with another crank-based power meter, a very similar design as the SRM, and another one measuring at the wheel called Power Tap by Cyclops. Both, both of the newcomers have, have their own advantages, as well as the original SRM being referred to consistently as the golden standard. Uh, what, what I'd like to do is break this into several different pieces, and I'm first going to start off about what is power. 